So recently, one of my students asked me if I get depressed, and the answer to that is yes, I get depressed. I'll explain that to you in a minute. What's up? My name is, <laughs> there it is, I always lose it, Seth with SethBurler.com. I'm an executive function coach in Colorado, and I help struggling students navigate this thing called school so that they can have a great life. And um, as far as depression is concerned, um, there are forms of depression which are chronic, which are ongoing, which are debilitating, which really interfere with someone's life. There are periods of depression that happen very naturally when something tragic or sad happens in our life. For example, the death of someone who's close to us or, you know, if we move to a new city or a new state and the grief of... Um, of the changing nature of the relationships with our friends from where we're moving from. Um, there's all sorts of types of situations that will cause, you know, a very normal um, depression or sadness or a period of time where you experience that. And then there's sort of this periodic thing where it can just happen sort of more randomly. So what happens to me nowadays, now I've gone through different phases of my life. I've gone through phases where I was sort of chronically depressed and I was depressed just all the time. And I've gone through phases, obviously like everybody, where it was situational, where when somebody passed away or I moved to a new city or something, there was, you know, little waves or big waves even of, of this thing called depression. And then there has been what I have now. What I experience now is probably anywhere from two to four days a month, I have a day where I'm just off. I'm just depressed. I'm just, I feel, for me, it feels very um, flat, very empty, um, very, just nothing seems to be going right. Um, everything seems to be wrong. And it feels heavy and uncomfortable and yucky and exhausting. And I just have no motivation, no energy to do anything. So that's kind of how mine is. Now, on those days, I, I practice being reflective or introspective or metacognitive, getting to know myself, being self-aware. I practice mindfulness being conscious of what's going on with what's called your subconscious, which is the thoughts that go on sort of silently that can often drive us. And often it can drive us when it's subconscious, it can drive us in ways that we don't want, you know. But what happens to me is since I am a more reflective person, since I'm willing to look inside me and since I'm willing to deal with my own stuff, Everybody has stuff. Your parents have stuff. Your grandparents have stuff. Your aunts and uncles have stuff. Your cousins have stuff. Your teachers have stuff. Your heroes, your favorite people that you admire in the whole world have stuff. We've all got junk. But I, I'm someone who deals with my junk. I work on my junk. I work on myself. I work on being a better person. We've all got stuff. We've all got you know, skeletons in the closet. We've all got some junk that has to be cleared out and thrown away and worked on. So for me, when because of that reflectiveness that I work on in practice, and I've done this for many, many years, because of that, when every two to four days a month it does hit me and I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, oh, it's one of those days. Sometimes I slog through it and I have something really important that has to get done and I'm able to do it. I may not be my best making videos on a day like that will never happen. I cannot make videos on a day when I'm like that. But other stuff I can do. I can work with people live when I've made commitments to people. I can follow through with my appointments on those days, stuff like that. You know, I, I, might, I might just want to get out of the house and I might just go to the grocery store to get something, just to get out of the house or something. But I know that on those days, sometimes I just need to do what's called self-compassion or self-care and that's where I can say to myself okay Seth you're human you're not perfect you're having an off day just chill it's okay if you're not productive it's okay if you don't get done the things that you think you're supposed to get done the world's not going to stop because you didn't follow through with what your plan was 
you know, and I can be okay with me and be like, you know what, just chill. It's okay to just have no energy for a day and whatever. Now, I know that some of you watching this may have worse experiences than that. You may be someone who has it chronically all the time, or you may be someone who hardly ever has it. Um, or maybe it's just the situations that knock you off center, or, you know, the difficulties in life. Either way, when, yes, I do get it. Um, I used to have it a lot. If you have it a lot, we don't have to stay in that state, but it's hard work. It's not just taking medication and all of a sudden things are magically done with a magic pill. It's not how life works, no matter who you are. We got to work on ourselves. We got to look deep. We got to be, have the courage to look within. And it can be scary to look within. I know that. Um, I used to be afraid that if I looked inside, I might really find out that the truth is that I really am a worthless, lazy failure that doesn't deserve anything. And after doing the work on myself, I found out, oh, that is not true at all. I actually have a lot to offer people. Um, so doing the work on yourself will help you where if you're having it chronically, you can minimize that. You can start overcoming it. You can start having more. And it's not going to be perfect, but you can have more good days, your good periods, the good times, um, you know, during the day where you have some peace of mind and you're not feeling depressed can get longer and longer and longer and you can string more days together that are good days you know and that that's it's hard work but it's doable you're you know if you're working with this you're not the only one who's gone through this people all over many 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 people you know are going through this it is for a lot of us it's part of life and it's okay and the second we stop fighting it and say you know what okay so i don't feel great right now um what am i going to do about it how am i going to work myself out of it how am i going to live in the solution rather than live in the problem there's a saying that says, don't judge your insides by other people's outsides. And we live in this Instagram world where everybody acts like they've got it together. But if you have been following any Instagrammers or YouTubers or any, any, any of those people that have like massive channels, what you'll notice is most of them get to a point or van life stuff or whatever, most of them get to a point where they're going to do some videos about the real side, the real reality of their life. And they're going to come clean with people and say, yeah, I struggle with this. I struggle with that. It's not all perfect. It's not all, you know, looks so awesome on Instagram and everything. Everything looks so, but it's not. This is, they're just normal people. That's all any of us are. Any of us. Nobody, nobody that you know. Not a single person that you know is beyond human. Nobody's above human. We're all just having a human experience. So the answer is yes, I do get depressed. The way it works for me is it's, it, like I said, about two to four days a month. Um, I have tools to work with it, to let it do its thing and to let it pass. It, it doesn't get a grip on me anymore. I'm not afraid of it anymore. It doesn't hold me back anymore. It'll hold me back that day, but it doesn't get me into a downward spiral anymore. It doesn't control me anymore or anything like that. Uh, it's something that I've worked hard on and that work has paid off. You know, on the bright side, let's say that I have a month where I have two days where, with, where I'm just depressed and I'm just not myself. On the bright side, I have, you know, 28 days or so where I'm pretty good. I've got a pretty good life. You know, I'm getting decent sleep, I'm eating decent food, I'm getting decent exercise, I have good people in my life, I do work that I like, um, I have time for self-care, I have time to be social, I, uh, so, you know, I have, a, I have a pretty good life. So 28 days out of the month, you know, I, I, I got it pretty good. And I'm very grateful for that. And I've done a lot of work on practicing gratitude and focusing on those things. So anyhow, that is my reality as far as the depression stuff in my life is concerned and how it shows up. Either way, I hope that you have a fantastic day filled with gratitude, 
with some good people in your life, with some good exercise, some good food, some good rest, some good self-care, some positivity, uh, and that's about it. I will see you in the next one.